Crown Jewel coming up on Saturday. Do you want to get your quick predictions for the pay-per-view? Seth Rollins and Bronson Reed. I mean, this, this, t- we've talked about this before. I asked you last week. This has got to be a must-win situation for Bronson Reed, right? Because if he doesn't win, it's he's dead in the fucking water. Has to be. Has to be. Has to win. <laughs> I already told you, even though the new shirt he has is cool, if he loses, just pack up, go to Japan, TNA, I don't know. You gotta leave, I mean. <laughs> I just, you, you can't, he can't lose here. They book him great on Raw, but then he just has, he has not won a match in months. Like, literally, because he lost to Braun Strowman, he doesn't really wrestle otherwise, so he hasn't won in months. <laughs> He's gotta win this match. I know Rollins hasn't won in a while, but it's Rollins. It's Seth freaking Rollins, so. Definitely a win for Bronson Reed here. Uh, LA Knight, Andrade, Carmelo Hayes. I'm glad this is on the pay-per-view. They're actually getting Carmelo and Andrade on the show, which is great. I still think this results in a United States Championship retention for LA Knight, though. What do you think? Yeah, no, I think... I mean, I thought that's the greatest match of all time, but get, putting on on Crown Jewel, I think, is a nice little, like, the, the big match, of, like, the actual, like, wrestling match of the night. So, I think this will be good. What's the... Is it tied, or is it someone up, or... Um, Andrade and Hayes are 3-3, three and three, and Game 7, as they call it, ended in a tie. So, I feel like LA Knight's uh, going to win. I would say... I feel like Hayes should win. No. So I'll go with Hayes. Okay. All right. Great pick. I got LA Knight retaining, but I would love to see uh, Andrade or Hayes win the belt. Orton Owens, one-on-one, I think for the first time ever on a pay-per-view. Um, thoughts on this match? I feel like after they kind of made Owens out to be this dangerous monster on SmackDown last week, he kind of has to win here. So I'm going to go... They both haven't won on pay-per-view like all fucking year, but I'm going to go Owens with the win here. Yeah, I keep Owens' momentum here. I would have Owens win. I agree. WWE Women's Tag Team Titles, Jade and Bianca, Damage Control, Metaphor, Lash Legend and Jakar Jackson, and Chelsea Green and Piper Niven. And honestly, I'm going to say this, say something nice about the Women's Tag Team Division here. I think they've done a nice job building this up across all three shows. I did not think I'd be saying that, but they've actually made me care about the build for this match. Uh, I'm going to say Chelsea and Piper win because they have not been beaten yet by Jade and Bianca with the belts on the line, and... If Jaden Bianca win here, who the fuck is left? So I would like to see Damage Control win. I'm, I'm going to go Chelsea and Piper Nevin, though. Um, who do you got going say, on? We're going very heel centric here. I'm yeah. going with Damage Control. That's, yeah, you're right. We are going heel centric. Okay, Damage Control. New champs, regardless, though, you think? Yeah. All right, I agree. Um, Liv Morgan and Nia Jax uh, for the Women's Crown Jewel Championship. Like anyone gives a shit. Um, it really doesn't matter who wins here. I'm going to say Nia Jax. I feel like Liv beating Nia. She already beat her a couple of months ago. She was one of the last people to beat Nia. I just feel like that would be unbelievable. So I'm going to go Nia Jax here. What about you? <laughs> I would say Liv wins, but Tiffany cashes the belt in on Liv. Really? You think they're actually going to do that? I mean, we're saying if no Rhea, they need something. I that mean. is true. Hmm. So I think Liv wins, but Tiffany cashes in on Liv. And Raw could use Tiffany Stratton on their show. There you go. All right. I like that. I like that a lot. So Liv wins. Cash in. Bold pick there by Mr. Marcel. Uh, Cody Rhodes, Gunther, first time ever this time for the men's Crown Jewel Championship. Again, don't really care, but the match itself should be great. Uh, This could go either way. I'm going to say Cody Rhodes wins. People are kind of set on Gunther winning because he should, but I just don't see them having Cody lose before he faces The Rock, at least one-on-one. So I'm going to say Cody Rhodes wins here, but I would prefer a Gunther victory. What do you think? I think Cody's going to win, too. Okay. Um, like I said, I mean, I think both guys, I mean, I think Guther should probably lose. I don't know. I think both guys, it's one of those things like both guys shouldn't be losing, so it's kind of tough. But I'm going to go with Cody. Like I said, if he's facing the Rock, I, I mean, he shouldn't be losing to Guther. Yeah, though, that's the whole problem. I mean, they shouldn't be doing champion versus champion. It's fucking stupid. It's just the Saudi thing. For a title, that doesn't matter. But, I mean, at least the matches should be, at least the match should be really good. And then, as announced the other day, kind of random, out of nowhere, and rush, but whatever, uh, Roman Reigns and the Usos versus uh, the Bloodline, and we don't know what three members of the new Bloodline they will be facing. But we haven't even seen we haven't even seen Jay make up with Roman yet, and they're doing this fucking match, which is wild. But I'm going to pull the old gimmick, Mr. Marceau. You go first. Who do you got going over? <laughs> I'm going to prep. I think booking 101, I think the new Bloodline wins, and then the OG bloodline will win at war games. I think so as well. I think you need to create a need for Sami Zayn to get involved. And if they, if, if Roman Reigns wins here again, like he did a bad blood, then why the fuck would they need Sami Zayn? That would just, be I mean, stupid. you can have Jimmy take the pen. No big deal. Exactly. Sword off your ass. And like I said, and then call I'm on Sami Zayn. It makes sense. Yeah. Like I said, and then the baby face to win in war games like they should. There you go. Perfect. Exactly. That's booking 101. I totally agree. Would like to see it. 